Hi, I am Eli Lee, and this is Bank of Singapore Research. Recent macro data from the US shows that the drag on growth from higher interest rates is rising, while the overall picture for inflation remains too far above the US Federal Reserve's target for them to cut rates this year. Looking ahead, we believe that the US is at the end of its rate hike cycle, and the recession will begin sometime in the second half of the year. We see opportunities in US Treasuries and developed markets investment grade bonds, which tend to outperform at this point in the cycle. In Asia, the recent weakness in China's macro data has raised questions about the sustainability of its post-COVID rebound. Although our base case is that China's economic rebound remains largely intact, we recognize that growth uncertainties have risen at the margin and that weak confidence and geopolitical concerns continue to pose headwinds for Chinese and Hong Kong equities. At the same time, we believe the outlook for Japanese equities is turning favourable. Factors such as a broadly accommodative policy stance from the BOJ, a weak yen and positive corporate governance reforms are said to be supportive of Japan's growth prospects and equity valuations. In our asset allocation strategy, we are upgrading Japanese equities from neutral to overweight. In addition, we are downgrading Asia Japan equities to neutral as we move China and Hong Kong equities from overweight to neutral weight. As a result of these moves, our overall position in global equities is reduced from neutral to underweight in line with our overall defensive stance in view of an uncertain global growth outlook. In fixed income, we favour US treasuries and developed market investment grade bonds, while staying underweight developed market high yield bonds and neutral on emerging markets. We see gold as an important portfolio diversifier which can act as a hedge against inflation and debasement risk. For more information, please refer to our monthly investment guide titled Peak Rates.